Hi everyone, I'm Caitlin Callender and I'm the author of King and the Dragonflies. It happened at the funeral. We were in the front row at the over, overheated church. Someone was crying behind me. Most were swatting their programs to push away the heat. My dad used to tell me all the time that boys don't cry, but sitting there that day, his face was wet, salted water dripping from his eyes, off his nose and chin, and he didn't bother wiping his face, didn't bother trying to hide it. I didn't even know so much water could be inside of a person, like he was trying to hide an entire ocean beneath his skin. My mom's hands were clenched hard around the crumpled up cut tissue in her lap, and she was staring without blinking, her eyes wide, staring right at where my, bro my brother's old body was lying in his casket. I know most folks like to say a dead person looks like they're sleeping, but I didn't think so. I know what my brother looked like when he was asleep. He was always dreaming always smirking or frowning at something I couldn't see, outright laughing before he mumbled and turned over, some nights even speaking to me. We shared the same bed in our cramped little room, and sometimes I'd kick him just so that he'd shut up and let me sleep too, but other times I'd sit and curl my knees to my chest and listen. He'd mostly say things that made no sense or speak so low I couldn't hear what he was telling me, but sometimes he'd whisper secrets about the universe. It was almost like he was given a special ticket to see a magic world in his dreams, even if he couldn't remember anything when he woke up. That boy lying there in that casket wasn't asleep. He wasn't even my brother. He was like a snake's second skin, shed off and forgotten, empty on the ground. I was mad that day. Why would we sit here crying over some forgotten skin? It's like mourning a moss cocoon. If Khalid had seen us there crying over that old body of his, what would he have done? My brother could slip into a whole other universe in his sleep. We're all made of light. Thank you.